wherever you are. My name is Venerable Dr. Kimutai Chesosi, a preacher at heart and a theologian to the core. I teach at St. Paul's Theological College, Capsabet, where we attempt to answer contemporary social issues from a biblical and sound theological foundation and background. Therefore, today, I welcome you to this session. It's theology under the tree, or theology that is grassroots. Welcome, and if there is any contemporary issue that you'd like us to discuss, the time is now. Onyango. Thank you, Venerable, for this opportunity. One of the major uh, critical contemporary issues is birth control. I would love you to, uh, to help us understand what is the standing of the scripture. Does it support birth control issues or it doesn't, especially to the Christians of the modern times? Thank you very much. I know married people and everybody is asking questions on contraceptives or birth control. Let me begin by just taking you in speed and in time. Sex is good because it is created by God. This is because the God created the world ex nihilo, out of nothing. And every creation was good. Number two, sex is powerful. It is powerful because it creates life. Number three, sex must be controlled within the context of marriage. Therefore, sex is supposed to be enjoyed within the context of marriage, creatively. But sex should not be an obsession. When it becomes an obsession, it leads people to deviant sexual behavior that includes homosexuality, lesbianism, and things like that. Now to go straight to your points. Most of the people condemn, they think, that the Bible condemns contraceptives because of a man called Anan, Onan. Onan in the book of Genesis chapter 38 did what we call as a birth control method. It's a natural birth control method that is called coitus interruptus or the withdrawal method. And he performed that act and there was no conception. And he was condemned by God and he was, he was punished severely and he died. Some people use that portion of scripture to condemn birth control. But I like to say that the context of that scripture is that Onan, Onan was punished not for the birth control method that he employed, but because of his intention of not wanting to sire an offspring during these surrogate marriages, not to sire an offspring for his brother. It is his selfish attitude that was condemned, not the birth control method. Some people will advocate for natural methods of birth control, like the Catholic Church will advocate for natural birth control methods. There, there, there. That method might be workable, but it might not be for everybody, because everybody has different tastes and appetites. And I want to tell you that it might not work for everybody. But the Bible gave us the command to go ye into the world and multiply. It's called in theology the cultural mandate. But I want to tell you that the command to go ye into the world was also added with the command to subdue the art, to subdue and manage it. Therefore, my considered opinion is that we are to multiply, but to subdue it. Because God gave us the brain and the rationale. I want to tell you that uh, the way God created us, what we have is even... In a lifetime of a man, not every, not every 
uh, semen or not every ovum will be used for procreation. Therefore, the argument that all must lead to procreation is not essentially sustainable logically. And I want to say that God, when he gave us uh, the command, the cultural mandate, we are supposed to multiply, but to subdue and to manage. And among the methods of management, my considered opinion is that we are supposed to control the birth, especially the natural methods. And there are issues to do with condoms and other gadgets that are used. They are not essentially sinful per se, in my opinion. But I like to say that the Bible is categorical in the book of uh, 1 Timothy 5, 8. But if you cannot, if you cannot provide for your immediate family, you are worse than an unbeliever. Therefore, we should not have excuses and produce beyond the children that we can feed, educate, and meet their basic necessities. Therefore, I think bad control, my considered opinion, according to this contemporary social problem, contemporary social issue, my considered opinion is that birth control is not essentially sinful. But it should be used naturally, and it should not be abused, as the people have abused condoms and other things to proliferate immorality and other issues. But I want to hasten and say that uh, it must be done within the context of family and within the context of marriage. Do we have any other supplementary question? Because our time is far gone, especially as we discuss this week's issue is birth control. Next week, there we shall have another sitting and we shall have another contemporary issue. Any other supplementary question before I conclude? In a nutshell, mm. Doctor, we are trying to tell us that birth control methods are not wrong. What is wrong, what determines is either, either wrong or being right is the intentions behind that. The intention? And not only, the, the, really the intention is the bottom line. The intention is the bottom line. Mulu. What is the legality uh, of birth control measures that you have The legality, we are created in the image and the likeness of God. That means we have a personality, we are creative. Even in the context of sex, there is the concept of creativity. Obsession is the problem, but we are creative, we are co-creators, even sex is supposed to be procreate life, we are co-creators. And therefore, since we are co-creators, it has to be controlled. And uh, the resources that we have versus the population, God made us to subdue and to control the earth. This is a, legi a legitimate basis for birth control. We must say that as we interpret the Bible correctly, we understand the context. We are gleaning truths and we are not supposed to untwist scriptures to support preconceived notions. When you say that go and be fruitful and multiply is the mandate to oppose <coughs> birth control. is not biblical. Just as to say, just like I tell you that there is a method of birth control that is biblical, whether the natural or the artificial. But I want to say that uh, there were debates, and serious debates on these issues. But for today, I'd like to thank you for attending this very short session. And I hope that if you have questions, we will pick it next year and discuss another contemporary issue. Thank you, my friend Alex, and uh, my friend uh, uh, Alan, Buliba, Omuse, uh, Kidero, Muluo, Abuao, William Pochon, and uh, 
Onyango, thank you for availing yourself. And it is always good that we discuss theological issues under the tree. Let's meet next time for theology under the tree shade. May the Lord richly bless you and the Lord be with you. Thank you very much.